Hot game, another one. Hot season, a hot career for that matter. Someone in 42. So, last April, of course, the playoff series between the Rockets and the Thunder, and that was Patrick Beverly going for a steal there as a timeout was called. And Russell Westbrook suffering the knee injury that cost him the rest of the 2013 playoffs. And early on tonight, they went after each other. 44 seconds into the game, Westbrook has called for an offensive foul with Beverly all over him. You have to love it. That's who these two guys are, mano a mano. Westbrook's not going to back down. And Beverly says, I'll move the chair and let you score one, but I'm not going to back down. I'm going to be here all night. It was really interesting to watch these two. Beverly trying to get under his skin, trying to get physical with him. You see they get tangled up again. Similar situation to that playoff game last spring. We got, we got folks mad at each other now. We got the mask coming off. We got a technical foul called as well. Hey, we're going downhill, man. We're heading towards the playoffs. This is the type of intensity that the game should be played with, the passion, mm. the fire. I have no problem with it, Chris. No, and I guarantee both coaches, even the OKC fans who are homeless because they're at home, love it. This is the intensity I feel that we need in the NBA that's become a little bit of buddy ball. It was interesting. Houston seemed intent on, on making this a little chippy, maybe. Beverly in particular, later on, Francisco Garcia. Oh, and by the way, Kevin Durant's pretty good. <laughs> News flash. <laughs> Uh, Dwight Howard to Omer Ashi, who was open, to be fair. That was his night tonight, though. Dwight never really got going. Uh, (laughs) He he did hit the open man. He was also out of bounds, unfortunately, and not in the game. Up top, Kevin Durant, alley-oop to Reggie Jackson, can't get the dunk, but eventually Karan Butler, who gave him good minutes, knocks down the three. I didn't know Reggie had that type of uh, game, but I know Karan Butler can knock down threes if you leave him open. Boy, Dwight Howard had a tough night. Steve Adams blocks him there on the other end. It's Westbrook so fast end-to-end, and OKC goes up by nine. They went on a 17-4 run in the second quarter. Westbrook creating... Out to Reggie Jackson, splash on the three, and it's a, an 11 point lead for the Thunder. Westbrook Uh-oh. using the screen, he'll pop and knock down a three, and OKC led by 16, 17, excuse me. Durant going to post up now. Actually, he's going to pull up. <laughs> that's, like, that's like a post up. Uh, <laughs> We wound up in a similar area, but that was not a post-up. OKC okay, so up by 15 at the half, third quarter. Westbrook with the crossover. That was nice. Jason Kidd showed me that a long time ago. The hardest crossover to stop is one that's coming straight at you. Not a lot of left to right, but one coming straight at you. Quick switching positions. And there's so much attention on Durant. He finds Ibaka. Surge knocks down the little I'm the fool. Oh, you um, know what, Mean Gene? Every time we get into this big wrestling match, I eat my vitamins, I, I eat my raw eggs, because this is WWF. You know I'm not going to do anything. You know Adam Silver's in there watching it, but I need to act tough, because the playoffs are coming. I tell you what, Mean Gene. Fear the beard. That was uh, Steven Adams, by the way, who was uh, teed up there. Harden, through traffic. Oh, no, no, they both were acting like Hulk Hogan, because one of them was going to fight. It was scripted. Durant for three, leads back to 14. Okay, see, it answers all night long. Harden, this is beautiful. Pick and roll to Omer Ashik. One of the best facilitators in the game, Harden is. He was that way on OKC, and you don't know if he's going to score or if he's going to play. They got it within five, and then Durant answered with his own little 5-0 run, and it's back to a 10-point lead. There's nothing like walking into There's just it nothing to it. Yeah. Durant misses here. Ashik with a rebound. Harden has another it. One? Oh, nope. No, nothing like... He's going to try oh, the rim, but Ibaka God. got him that time. And that was a positive step for OKC after Houston had gotten a couple of straight line drives yeah. to the rim. Durant, step back, silly. Uh, that's just unguardable. 12 of 22 on the night. He okay. has five of his eight. Well, you know me, Gene. I had to make a comeback and make another purse. You know, when I fight Big John Studd, when I go against uh, uh, the other people, I tell you what, I'm just always ready. I don't care who's around me. I don't... <laughs> Uh, Durant called for the tech after the Garcia foul. And then Harden knocks down the three, and he hit a couple of big ones to make it interesting at the end. Is this a new trend, or has it always been there? The guy just walking into three. Tell me about this place. Good question. I, I don't Beverly and, and Westbrook go up. Beverly tries to contest the shot. He's called for a three-shot foul. Westbrook made all three, and put him up by eight. It wasn't a foul. I think that was just off reputation. When you see that play slow back again, he did not foul him the shot. Well, it was interesting. We were talking about it a little bit here, and we weren't sure there was a foul on the play. Nonetheless, Oklahoma City wins it 106-98 to as Durant goes for 
42, 11th 40-point game on the season.